I am Ma'am Flor and I'll be presenting the new topic which is Reflection. For our milks for today's lesson, you are about to predict the qualitative characteristics, orientation, type, and magnification of images formed by plane and card mirrors and lenses. When you look at the mirror, what can you see? You can see the reflected image of yourself and objects around you. How do you describe the mirror? What and how it is used when you make off? Yes, mirror is made of glass. It has a polished surface and it is silver coated at the back. But wait, let us have some important terms which you need to understand first. First, we have incident ray. Second, we have the reflected ray. And the third one is the normal line. Incident ray, the ray of light approaching the mirror, represented by an arrow approaching an optical element like mirrors. Reflected ray, the ray of light which leaves the mirror and it is represented by an arrow pointing away from the mirror. Normal line, an imaginary line drawn perpendicular to the surface. Okay class, let's try to answer these questions. Number one, what is reflection? Precisely, reflection is the bottom back of light rays when they hit the surface like mirror. Have you noticed the word ambulance in an ambulance car? How it is written? The letters of the word ambulance are printed backwards and are reversed in sequence. Have you ever wondered why it is written that way? Yes! So that when the driver looks at the side mirror, they can clearly see and read the word ambulance properly. This does not only happen on a smooth surface, but it also happens on rough surfaces. This is why reflection is classified into two types. First is the specular or regular reflection. Second is the fuse or irregular reflection. Is specular or regular reflection? This is a reflection of light on a smooth surfaces such as mirrors or a calm body of water. An example of this is the image of my own volcano on a calm water. Diffuse or irregular reflection. This is a reflection of light on rough surfaces such as clothing, paper, wavy water, and the spot roadway. An example of this is the image of mountain on a wavy body of water. Now you know the two types of reflection. Great job, Britain! Let us proceed to your learning task. Learning task 1. Identify whether it is specular or diffuse reflection. First, paper. Correct! That is diffuse reflection. Second, pavement road. Yes, it is. That is diffuse reflection. The third one, wood. reflection. Four, glass window. 
Precisely, you are correct. That is specular. Water in swimming pool. Very well said. That is a specular reflection. Let us now have learning task 2, which is entitled Image in a Plain Mirror. Stand in front of a plain mirror. Is your image exactly the same in size as you are? Yes, your image is exactly the same as what you are. Where it is apparently found. Great! That's correct. It seems that your image is located behind the mirror. Second, raise your left hand. What hand did your image raise? Brilliant! It seems that your image raised the right hand. Is your image red or inverted? Is it real or virtual? Precisely, your image is erect or upright. And it is virtual. Why virtual? Because it seems that your image is behind the mirror. This is also the same way in algebra. The reflexive property of equality which states that a number is always equal to itself. Say, we have the quadrilateral, which is four-sided polygon. How will you describe the polygon if I draw a line intersecting between A and C? Triangle A, B, and C is equal to triangle A, C, and D. What about the measurement of each side? Do they equal? Yes, they are equal in measurement. Are you now ready for a short quiz? Let's see what you learned for today's session. Why is it easier to read a newspaper than a glossy magazine? Yeah, because incident ray in newspaper reflect in only one direction or reflected directly on our eyes. If you look down on a pool of wavy water, you can see your face clearly. Will you give your explanation for this observation? Okay, that's good. The water is wavy. That's why your image is distorted. Good job, Brinton! Thank you for listening and participating. Happy learning! Till next time!